Hey everybody, thanks for watching Hardworking Man. My name's Heath. Today we're just going to be cleaning up some of the trees we dropped in the last video. I'm excited. I got something new to try out here. It's something I've wanted to get for a while, but never have actually made the purchase. But I finally did. And part of that's because I met a local guy who makes and sells these. So I got to talk to him before I just bought it, you know, off the internet or whatnot. It's just a carbide chain for one of my 036 Pros. I run two of these 036 Pros. I've got a regular chain on one. The chain that was on this one was getting, the teeth were getting pretty small, getting back to the little lines on them. So before I broke some off, I decided, you know what? I found this guy. I'm gonna pick up one of these chains, give it a try. I cut a lot of dirty wood. I hit the ground sometimes when I'm working in the woods. I'll probably hit the ground a few times today when I'm cleaning up this tree because I'm gonna be a little less careful because I wanna see how this thing holds up. One thing I wanna do with this channel is when I find stuff that works, stuff that I like, you guys can see it and if you want to get one too you already know that i've tried it and that it works for me and the different ways i've used it like that dr log trailer i just bought that thing used off facebook marketplace and i love that thing i use it for everything this carbide chain i'm gonna try it out see how it lasts see if, you know compared to a regular chain how well it holds up when you hit the dirt a couple times here and there a lot of times a regular chain you hit the dirt a couple times and that thing's toast for the day you either got to change it out pull out the file sharpen it i'm hoping with this carbide chain that when i'm in the woods cutting dirty ash cutting you know getting down by the ground sometimes when you can't use the the cant to get the logs up off the ground and you hit the ground occasionally that you can keep working through it so uh i'm gonna give this thing a try see how it works and like i said we're just cleaning up the yard today it looks like a pretty nice chain. You can see the carbide tips there on the steel teeth. So we'll see how this thing holds up, see how it works. The guy I got it from seemed pretty knowledgeable about him. His name is Andrew Webb. He's from Marysville in St. Clair County, Michigan. And he got into the business because he used to work with crane mats and he used a lot of carbide tipped sawzall blades cutting through rebar and stuff and then he started selling the crane mats for firewood when he had ones that weren't being used anymore and he got into the carbide chainsaw business so he makes these chains himself if you're interested in calling him talking to him he's very knowledgeable if you want to order one he'll ship it right to you so uh you can hit him up his emails here on the card his cell phone's on the card you can hit him with a text or a phone call if you got any questions about these and like I said I'll be showing you how well it holds up on the channel here I'll be using it I'll let you know when I'm using this chain versus a regular one that way we can see how long it lasts how well it holds up all right this is the walnut we're cleaning up you can see there's some in the bonfire pit out there already my boys are gonna be cleaning up these branches off the top We'll get some of this cut down into just firewood for ourselves and then might try to save a saw log. I don't know if it's worth it or not. This tree was pretty dead. I saved the base log off it already. I got another probably eight foot section there that might be good. So I'm just gonna let my buddy check that out when he comes over with the sawmill. If it's something he wants, we'll get that for him. our trailer I use that thing for everything it's a little soft in the yard for the tractor or we just get out here with the grapple and the brush chipper but we're doing the old manual labor today
grab the tractor. I should be able to get up on the top part of the hill there, get that log out of here, then we'll start cleaning the rest of this up. So far my takes on this chain, I really like it. 
I threw it straight on the saw how I got it from Andrew. I didn't take the rakers down. I didn't touch up the teeth or anything. Normally when I get a new chain, I hand sharpen it before I even run it for the first time. I will say it's not cutting quite as fast as a chain that I've taken and hand sharpened, but I've also hit the dirt three or four times while working on this walnut top and it doesn't seem to affect the way it's cut at all, which I really like. I'm gonna keep using this chain when I'm cutting down stumps or cutting dirty wood or if I'm out in the woods, you know, cutting some ash that are down on the ground i'll let you guys know how it holds up over time so far i like it i think i'm gonna like it for special purposes so uh just keep paying attention to hard working man see how this thing works out and if you got any questions get a hold of andrew i got his business card in this video thanks for watching let's get back to work Here I was trying to talk, I picked up some new lapel mics, but all you could hear was the saw. But I'm getting close to that 100 subscriber mark, so make sure you get subscribed, pay attention to future videos so you don't miss a giveaway. Some people missed out on the maple syrup, don't miss out on the next one. I'm going to quit running the you saw though. Light. Boys will keep picking this up. I got a couple projects up front I'm going to do till we run completely out of light. And uh, we'll finish this up tomorrow morning, hopefully, if the weather's good enough. I'll keep you guys updated on how that chain works.